pussy we no one dip dog Like Chinese was so the clip dog Show it up and make a fall from your this dog You know one on a discharge, man a big dog I saw you disappear as if you never did ban Me no walk up a kilo, me no just a sing song With the people your mother tell you keep fam Z-Tech full of bam like Islam And if you with me guy come in know the enemy Them a free and me know the nurse Hey y'all, good night, so it is it's birthday, so we're headed to Sugar Factory for dinner. Reservations at 7 is coming out too. But we're pulling up right now, so yeah. Hey guys, what is up? So we just got back, well, a while ago, got back from my brother's birthday dinner at the Sugar Factory. He turned 21. Can you do something for me? <laughs> he turned 21 today, so I wanted to get him one of those big goblet drinks. It's pure sugar, a little bit of alcohol, but you know, for the vibes. <laughs> we are all about the vibes in this household. So we went to Sugar Factory. We had a good time. Our food took way too long to come out though. Like, we were there for like two hours. And it wasn't even a lot of people there. It was, it's, today is Tuesday. There wasn't even a lot of people there. The people that came there with us left before us and were still there. But the waiter was nice and he took 35% off of our, like he gave us a 35% discount. And he also took my husband's salad off of the bill because that literally came in at, we got our salad at 9 o'clock. Our reservation was at 7. We got it at 7 or 2. And my husband got his salad at 9 p.m. A salad with salmon. And then when he, he did it, turn out the salmon and cook all the way. Mm. What I actually came on here to let you guys know is that we have another collab. Period. We got another collab, and this time it's with Alt Fragrances. Some of you guys have heard of them, but they are a fragrance brand and they sell fragrances of course and the fragrances they sell are like you could call them dupes or they're inspired by designer fragrances so they have fragrances inspired by Baccarat 540 they have inspired by Delina they have inspired by Tom Ford fragrances such as FN Fabulous, they have fragrances inspired by Tobacco Vanille, they have fragrance, so they have a bunch of inspired fragrances, that's what they do, they give you inspired fragrances for much, a much more affordable price, so if you're interested in that, then you can use my coupon code, of course I have a coupon code for you guys, my coupon code is Brianna Denae, I'll put it right here as usual, and that'll get you 15% off your entire purchase. So we're moving on up from 10 to 15. That'll get you 15% off your entire purchase. And I'll leave a link down below that you can shop through like the other one. Please keep in mind that I will get commission once you shop through this link. But why wouldn't you want to help a girl out? Hmm? I've been giving you stuff for the free for years now. A little commission ain't gonna hurt nobody. <laughs> but anyway, I'll leave the link down in the description box down below. They sent me a fragrance to try out. They had me pick a fragrance that I wanted. And I picked Duchess. That's the one inspired by Delina. I like Delina. I don't own it, but I went into the store and I smelled it. And it smells pretty good. I just don't feel like dishing out $300 on fragrance right now. So 
So this is what the fragrance box looks like. And it says, thank you for trusting us to send to you your loved ones, your surroundings at Alt. We believe that luxury fragrances should be available for all to wear and experience. We strive to be able to offer you the opportunity of building a fragrance collection full of high incense without having to spend hundreds, if not thousands in the process. Each bottle of Alt is handcrafted and compounded in Miami, Florida using ingredients of unsurpassed quality so that you can truly smell your best for less. Then it has the directions on it. And this one says extract the parfum made by Alt Fragrances. Um, this is the bottle. It's Alt's Duchess. And like I said, it's inspired by Delina. This is a one ounce bottle. Because I didn't wear any fragrance today. And like I said, I know how Delina smells because I went in a small thing. Wait. Bro. When I tell you spot on from what I didn't remember Delina to smell like, spot on. Wow. Wow, that's kind of. Oh my. Don't I tell y'all spot on? That's kind of nuts. That's kind of nuts, not going to lie. And this fragrance will only run you $49, whereas Delina is like 300 and something. Let me tell you the exact price of Delina. At Saks Fifth, Delina goes for $355, and you can get this fragrance at Alt for $49 for the one ounce, $59 for two ounce, and $69 for three ounce. Or they have a deal going on. You can get any three bottles for only $99. So, y'all better hop on out. Because who's spending $300, $355 when I could spend $49 and smell, smell like the same thing? Anyway, like I said before, check out out fragrances and you can spend the $49 and still get 15% off using my coupon code. I'll put it right here. Right here, Brianna Denae. Yeah, 15% off your entire order. Or you can do the deal with three for 99 and get 15% off. Or you can shop for as, as many fragrances as you want on there. Knock yourself out. They're for $39.49. I've seen some for $29. So you want to smell good on a budget? Out can help you smell good on a budget, okay? Good on a budget. Anyway, I'm going now to close up. And by close up, I mean the usual nighttime stuff. Make baby girls bottles, stock up the fridge for the night, wash the bottles, all that good stuff. So I'll see you guys when I see you guys again. Bye. Don't forget to check out Out Fragrances. Use code Brianna Denny for 15% off. Bye. Hey, you guys, what is up? it's your favorite girl it is well today is wednesday and we have some baby packages we have two packages from amazon the first, one here. the first one is just the universal descaler for the baby breezer this is for me to use in the sterilizer so that it could descale a little hard because we in florida there's hard water so the part that you put the water in, the part that you put the water in, it gets a little icky looking and it's hard to scrub off. Like I have to use like a Brillo pad or like the scrub mommy and scrub daddy to get to scrub it off. So I'm hoping that this makes that process a bit easier and can like dissolve away that little residue that's on it from the hard water. And then got another item, also a baby breeze item that I got from Amazon. This one I'm really excited about because 
It's the Baby Breeza Safe and Smart Bottle Warmer. And this one says it's good for breast milk and formula. Because I saw those that were like, oh, it's for formula and da 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 da. So I saw this one for breast milk and formula. And the reason why I wanted this is that you could connect it to your phone and get it to like the perfect temperature and stuff. So we're hoping that this makes the heating of the bottle process easier because once mama is hungry, you get 0 0.03 seconds to put that bottle in her mouth before she starts screaming. Anyway, this says only warmer with two sec settings to safely warm formula and breast milk. Warms breast milk safely in warm water bath, preserving nutrients. Warm formula quickly with heat. Works with all bottle brands and sizes and is Bluetooth compatible. So I'm hoping this works well. It also says at the back um, safe warming for breast milk, steady mode, warm breast milk or baby food in warm water to provide essential nutrients. Fast warming for formula, warm formula quickly with steam heat in as little as two minutes. Safe defrost, safely defrost breast milk or baby food. Easy to use, operated with LCD panel or with Bluetooth from a mobile device. Convenient, works on all bottle types and sizes. So, this is half. So as usual, we're gonna open it safely and not rip the box. Cause if it don't work, it's going back, okay? This is too damn pricey for me to hold an L. And like I said, I'm not holding any L's for Jeff. Jeff got enough money. Okay. <laughs> this is it here. And I got it in the white color to match with the <laughs> oh, I can't remember what it's called. It's just too much for the starlight because it also came in like a slate gray color. But I got it in the white because the sterilizer is white as well. Okay, and this is, I'm guessing, to pour the water in. It's the instructions, so we're going to read that. And then see if they do what it says it's gonna do. Hoping for the best. And like I said, we keep the box. We always keep the box until we know that it works. <laughs> so I'm gonna put this in the closet. So that it's out of the way. But yeah. That's all that we got today. I was trying, trying my utmost best to film my actual, to film my actual video for you guys on the Sephora VIB sale, like my recommendation to put out before the sale. The sale is this Friday, it's Wednesday. And then I realized that I borrowed my ring light to my cousin because she has this whole production thing that she's doing. So, I mean, I could just sit on in a vlog and tell you guys what I recommend instead of doing like a sit, like a separate video. I think I can do that too. I look a hot mess, but I can do that. So I may plan to do that like tomorrow. But no, because I wanted to put it out before the sale and vlogs go up on Sundays. That's after the sale starts. So, yeah, we're not doing that. So, I guess the recommendation video. Anyway, I'll catch you guys either later or tomorrow or the next day or I don't know. But I'll catch you guys when I catch you guys. <laughs>
so I got a double smoke bacon double smoke croissant and then of course I got a chocolate chip cookie to finish it all off but I literally came out to go to CVS pick up my prescription and get some Starbucks because they had a half off handcrafted drinks what I look like passing up half off my Starbucks drink order I'm not going to that anyway there's battery gun dying all I did is eating so I'll catch you guys later So it is after 12 a.m. on Saturday. We just came back from Rum Jungle. Just a little drinks and vibes with my brother to celebrate his birthday. His birthday was Tuesday. So yeah, I'm going to head to bed now. Take all this makeup. I did headshots for these two brands, Smashbox and Lancome, because I used both of them. This is the foundation and this is the concealer I used under my eyes. So yeah, anyway. Catch you guys tomorrow because my battery's gonna die and I'm not changing my battery just to save things for like 30 seconds so bye hey guys what is up it is Saturday and as you can hear like water running and you know, I'm simultaneously doing the laundry and pumping right now let me see what the pot is okay so so my dad is doing a lot of damn pumping. Uh, Mom has a baby girl. She had her since last night because like I told you guys, she keeps her on Friday nights so that we could go out, have date night, just go out or just catch up on some sleep. Friday, she says it's her night. So don't come for her baby girl until Saturday whenever they decide their time is up. So that's the time I take and I do all I need to do, like laundry, and her laundry, our laundry, clean up around the place, clean up the room, all that stuff, clean up the kitchen, just do housework. So that's what I'm doing now. And these wearable pumps really come in handy for that because I can pump and still get stuff done instead of just having to sit there and wait for the milk to be expelled. I can still run around. So these are the mom calls me breast pumps and I showed you guys them in a previous vlog but yeah really handy for moms who have stuff to do especially if you have another little one you can pump and deal with the other little one so yeah amazing love them Zam. anyway I'm gonna try today the goal is to try to get to Sephora. I've been trying to get there from yesterday. I I was just too tired yesterday, couldn't make it. And I tried shopping online and y'all keep crashing the site. Y'all keep crashing the app and the site. It's nuts. So I'm gonna try my best to get to Sephora. I'm gonna first try the one. There's one down the street from where I live in a Kohl's. I'm gonna try that one first, and if I don't find everything there that I want, I'm gonna head to Sephora. I mean, up the water for lakes. I'm saying find everything that I want. Like, I have this big list of stuff. Girl, my car had in two things. Two things I was trying to check out, cause I don't know. The ceiling really hyped me this year because I feel like at 20% off is not a lot of money. <laughs> and then I was just TikTok where this girl was like. These brands individually have like sales of 30%, 40%, 50% sometimes for the holiday season and everybody goes gung ho over Sephora. I guess because Sephora is like a one-stop shop so you can get so you could get everything like in one place and then you get a 20% off. Whereas you have to go to like Armani Beauty and then like Dior Beauty and then Paula's Choice website, Beauty Blender website, Fenty website. And that seems like a lot. <laughs> Whereas you could just go on Sephora and get everything that you need. So, I don't know. I'm going to keep looking. 
or maybe when I go in the store, something will call out to me. But I literally have two or three things in my shopping cart, cart which was a fragrance for my husband. I can't even remember off the top of my oh, another polish choice um, toner, and one other thing. Oh, the mini Fenty butter drops. That's literally all that I had in my cart. <laughs> I can't think of anything else that I would want. I went through the website multiple times before the sale even came up. Just add things to my cart in preparation. I was like, I have stuff here. I'm thinking about re-upping on the Glow Recipe watermelon stuff. So, watermelon glow. Next thing I might do drops and then the pink juice moisturizer and also trying the toner but um they're still having like half of it you can see and i don't i think this is empty because i've been pumping and nothing been coming out I'm pumping pumping nothing coming out so i think this is empty so i may re-up on these i don't know if i'll get another mini set because they still have the mini barbie set or to get the full size or to get the jumbos I don't know if I like it enough to get the jumbos. So yeah, these I may add to my cart because these are really good. They have my face really well moisturized and I think they're clean at Sephora. So I'm very skeptical on what I put on my face just because I have a newborn and like she be, I be kissing her up in her face and stuff. And I don't want anything that would be like too strong and mess her up and mess up her skin so yeah anyway i'm gonna continue pumping and i'll catch you guys if i get to sephora i'll pull out my camera and talk to you guys on the way and when i get there and stuff so yeah bye for now make sure you do nobody else like me That's the most inspirational song I've ever heard in a long periodical time. Oh, I also have on my Renaissance merch. So, song coming on was fitting. Anyway, headed to Starbucks. Why does it have traffic? Yo, too many people moving into this area. When I moved into this area four years ago, it had nobody. Like, I could drive in all the lanes if I wanted to. But now I have so much people and they're expanding even more. I just like, what is going on? Please stop, please. I mean, it's good that the area is developing, but they have so much people. And so much apartment complexes. And like, the more people moving out of Florida, the more people moving into Florida. It's just like, because you know, I have like a great, what do you call Exodus. From Florida because I run this and this and he's to be lost. Like a lot of people live in Florida. And Florida becoming so expensive. Like people literally cannot afford to live here anymore. So they move into other states. And it's just ghetto. <laughs> Florida is the ghetto of the United States. But y'all knew that. Y'all knew that. But yeah. Um, I might be exodusing right along with them because they send this and these stupid laws and plus they're having me a little I have a little bambina mm -mm. he ain't gonna make me mess up my child no ma'am no ma'am no Pam so I might move I've been talking about it with my mom like I don't know and plus I already been here four years 
I think my maximum amount of years in a state was what three. Now I have a kid, I have to cam my tail down and like stay somewhere. But I suddenly feel like my time in Florida is up because first of all, everything going up, the pay ain't really going up. It's just ghetto, and I feel like that's everywhere in the United States. But Florida would an expensive to start. And you mean to say you raising everything still? No. So, I might be heading on out of here. Who knows? May not be here next year. Anyway, headed to Star Bizzle. I already placed my order for pickup. I was gonna go to Coles too, but then my mom said she also wanted some food from some breakfast from Starbucks. Even though it's 12 p.m. Yes, I put it on blast. Even though I just eat, like before I leave the house, but I put the hand back. This is not about me. This is about her. It is 12 p.m., so I am going to. You want to come out, Lane? What are you slow down for? Literally, she on the wrong side of the road. She on the wrong side of the road to come out. Like she would be on my side where I was going in, and she stopped. That makes sense. You are on the side that I need to drive in. Just come your stupid self out. Anyway, we're in the drive through I do my out of a pickup in the drive through And the drive through have a line. Like, people discovering the Starbucks. And I don't know how I feel about that. Because the drive through have a line. I'm also to the road. I'm going to do this for pickup in the store. Because I'm pretty sure nobody is here. And I used to be able to just drive up to the speaker box. Because people didn't know the Starbucks were open. But now it look like they do. That's upsetting me and my homegirls. But yeah. <clears throat> I was going to go to Sephora. But since I get in the breakfast for my mom, I'll just get a Starbucks and go home. Get her her breakfast and then probably head back out to the Sephora in Coles. Which is like an eight minute drive from my house. So it's much closer than Waterford Lakes, which is like 20 something minutes. Starbucks, how are you doing today? I am good. Um, I'm picking up a mobile order for Brianna. Mm -hmm. All right, let's have a working one. Okay. All right. Thank you. See, the Sephora app would work now. Let's see. And no, still not working. Like, and this is just rouge. Rouge. Why did I say rouge? Rouge. Like, everybody got rouge now? <laughs> I remember when rude sales used to be happening and it used to be empty. Like you could get everything that you wanted. Now you can't even get on the goddamn app. Look at that. You can't even get on the app. That's crazy. That's crazy. Like, actually nuts. And then let's see if the website is any better. I doubt it. Because when I tried the website yesterday, oh, I got onto the website. So it's just the app that's having issues. Let me see. Sign in. Seems like it's just the app that's having issues. So you mean to say? No, because I, I tried it yesterday. Look. I have never seen this when I tried to sign into Sephora before. <sighs> Y'all doing a number on Sephora. And the sale's not even that good. I need y'all to wake up. Wake up! So like I told y'all, I literally have like two things in my shopping cart. Two. Was not exaggerating when I said that two things what are those two things probably not even the two things I told you guys nope it's the little butter drops and the Sephora collection lip gel lip liner in molasses so not even the stuff that I told you guys were in it is in it <laughs> it's crazy alright they're looking but we got one drink okay awesome thank you Okay, here is the other drink. Uh-huh. Are 
everything's fine. <laughs> awesome, <laughs> thank you. I'm Have good. a great day. You Thanks. So I got myself my usual, which is chocolate chip cookie, venti ice matcha latte, six pumps of brown sugar syrup. Then I got my mom a white hot chocolate, one pump of caramel syrup, and then she wanted the bacon and egg wrap. So that's what we got. Testimony. Then I follow, 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 follow me to go. Then I follow, 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 follow you to go. Did y'all see the clip of Gunna performing this song with the artist? Like, Gunna needs to go into Afrobeats because, yeah, he did that. He did that. That's one of my favorite clips of he on the internet. Like, I don't know, people like, oh, I can't support Gunna because he a snitch. All then, the person who he was in jail with ain't even mad at he. Their family ain't even mad at he. So, like, I don't know, fans got imaginary beef with Gunna saying gonna snitch all then gonna I don't think he snitch like y'all see he went jail and come out and just assume he snitch y'all ain't even read the court documents like people just win and then even if he did snitch like you gonna throw away your whole career for a life that you really about he ain't about this gang life you see a gonna have you seen gonna do you know who Gunna is? Like, like, as a person, not the artist. Like, people don't, uh, why am I yelling? I don't know. But people don't realize that a lot of these artists are just a persona. It's just a persona, an onstage persona, a studio persona. Like, Aubrey. Aubrey's freaking Aubrey Graham. And the character or the rapper that he portrays is Drake. Y'all know that Aubrey was an actor. Like, he's a kid actor. He was a kid actor. He was in Degrassi. Aubrey Graham. And then now you're thinking he's so hard. Like, Aubrey Graham. Aubrey Graham is not a gangster. Aubrey Graham is a theater kid that had a really good role as Drake. Drake is a role that he is playing. And you can see that the cracks is starting to show. Only so long he could play this role because he lame to me. Like, he always coming after these women. Like, he theater kid not showing. I mean, I ain't saying all theater kids lame and stuff like that, but He's a little loser. <laughs> I just happen to have money now. And like that incel culture, it was ingrained deep in him. But he knew in the beginning, like he's smart. He knew in the beginning marketing towards women would bring him big bank. But he see now incel culture is bringing in the rat, right, raking in the money now. Like everybody like to be anti woman and woman don't deserve this, woman don't deserve that. And all kind of thing. You see that bringing in money now from like you can see it. These stupid podcasters too. They see that's what bringing in the money. So that's what he pivot towards. And now you're just seeing that he just lame. That he just doing whatever makes the money. Lame shit. But yeah, these rappers they be having a persona. The only rappers that I would say had is them that grew up tough in tough life. Like Young Tug. Young Tug had because this man could be facing a million years in prison. <laughs> and he allegedly do all these things in his Rico case. So anyway, let me go to the mailbox to come back. So yeah, Tugga have a whole Rico case up against him. And he do all these gang stuff, allegedly. 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 Put hits out on all kind of people, allegedly. And stuff like that. So, 
He seemed like he was about that life for real, but not nah, a lot of these rappers about that life for real. It's just a persona. And I think it had this retired basketball player, I forget what his name is. He come out and he said he's son who the rap. He lying. This man grew up in a gated community and he basically, the son basically rapping the fad of life, not he own life. Like, he ain't been through none of these shit. Like, this man grew up with a silver spoon. His father was an NBA player. I forget what his name was. But I can put here. What the hell is that bug? Uh uh, get off my car. Right before I pull in my garage soon, I hope it's gone. I don't know what the hell kind of bug that was. I don't want to get my car or in the house. But yeah, his father say. Y'all be listening to this little boy's raps, believe it. Well, I guess he a man now. This man raps, believe in him, like he bought that life. He bought none of that life. And I was like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I don't know, a lot more rappers, fathers need to come out and expose them because you're not about it. You're not about it. Anyway. Which home? Let me get that tough food. So, I just got from Target. I got me another matcha latte. You know the vibes. We now headed into Sephora to pick up the order because I was able to place the order online and pick up in store. This is my first of I don't know how many orders I'm going to place throughout the sale, but let's ride. <laughs> What is up, party people? <laughs> so we're back home. If you see food in my teeth, or on my mouth, ignore it. I just ate. But the mail. We went to Sephora, and let me show you what I got. So this bag was what I ordered online and pick up in store. So this bag is what I picked up in store. <laughs> so. Let's dive in. Why don't we, darlings? I'm in the process of actually editing this vlog. So hopefully it's up by on time when we need to be there. It is 7.41 and I'm about halfway through it. So I'm hoping for the best. But again, I don't know how long this portion is going to take. So let me start rambling and get right into it. So we're going to start off with this bag, which is the stuff I picked up in the store. All I really picked up was eye cream for my mom because I forgot to get it online. She likes the Sephora hydrating eye cream. Hydrate and anti-dark anti circles. This is the English part here. So I got that for her. And then, while I was in the checkout line, I saw this. It intrigued me. So, what it is, is samples, is a perfume sampler. It was for $30. You get Very Good Girl, Flower Bomb, Commodity Gold, Clean Reserve, Radiant Nectar, Prada Paradox, and Valentino Donna Born and Roma Intense. You get sample sizes of those, and then you can, it, there is a, I think like a, coupon thingy or something in here where you can get a travel size of any one of these that you want so yeah sample your way to a travel spray or rollerball so we're gonna try these out let's do that to see which one I would want just keep in mind these are sample sizes so this hair is showing you the what you would get if you redeem whatever the coupon is inside not the actual thing on the inside keep that in mind so what's on the inside is gonna be much smaller but y'all know how the sample sizes come the mini 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 bottles so like I said mini 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 bottle and this is what you redeem the scent certificate to get the travel size one I have a lot of fragrances, so I don't really need more 
full size bottles. Anyway, let's smell, let's smell. This first one is Donna Born in Roma Intense. I have the original Donna Born in Roma. I like, I love it. Actually, it's one of my favorite scents. So let's see how intense it smells. Oh, some got on my hand. I don't even have it on yet, and it is busting. Oh, yes. Let me. Yeah. 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 Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I have to say. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I expected nothing less from Valentino, Donna Born in Roma. This is Commodity Gold. People say that Commodity fragrances are really good. I'll be the judge of that. So this is what the bottle looks like. Let's see, and I'm spraying it right here. Did I even get it? Okay. It's very subtle. I like it. It's good for like every day. Yeah, I like this one too. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I may have to buy me some others that are not like, you know, I'll redeem one with this and then buy some others because these are smelling really good. This one is Clean Reserve Radiant Nectar. So this is the case for it, and then this is the actual fragrance. Another good everyday scent. Wow. It's nice and light, and then it gives like a citrusy scent to the end. So really good. It's another one that I really like. This was a good buy because I really like all or maybe it was a bad buy because I really like all these fragrances and so far and then I might end up buying all of them. This one is Prada Paradox. This is what the little vial looks like. Let's see. This one I'm not the hugest fan of. It kind of smells like Windex or like cleaning something that you clean with. Yeah. Mm -mm. Not really the biggest fan of that. I mean, it's not horrible, but it's not like, you know, oh my gosh, wow, look at the others. Then this is a very good girl. Like I said, the red shoe. And then the vial. Let's see. The whole good girl line is pretty good, so this should be good as well. Yep, good as well, but it smells really, really similar to good girl. So I won't buy this unless I'm just buying it to like have all the shoes, but wait, I have that. <laughs> I have very good girl. It was bought for me. I think I got it for Christmas. I have that one. Yeah, cause I have two shoes. I have the original and then I have very good girl. I think it's a pink one that I'm missing out. Then lastly is Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb. I have owned Flower Bomb already, so I know how it smells, but we won't do it just for shits and gigs, you know? Yep. Yep. I had it. It expired. I threw it away. Did I throw it away or is it expired on my shelf? Girl, I don't know. But yeah. So the ones definitely this. Definitely this. These three. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Bomb. Bomb. So I have to do sandwich out of those three. I'm going to redeem. I'm going to look for the most expensive one and choose that one. <laughs> Knowing them, they probably put all of them like within the same price range in here. That would be 
the smart thing to do. But yeah, and this literally caught me at checkout because I literally only went in there for the ice cream for my mom. So that was that. And then in this, we have, I'm gonna start with the biggest thing first. So I wanted, I didn't know what other glow recipe thing I wanted, but I know I wanted to try other glow recipe stuff. So I got this. This has in the Plum Plump Hyaluronic Cream, the Pore Type Toner that they, that one seems to be going viral on TikTok. And I said my dew drops, I really like that. The avocado ceramide moisture barrier cleanser. And then the strawberry smooth BHA AHA salicylic acid. Well salicylic serum. So it has them basically like sample sizes of all of these. So I can try and then buy. I plan on trying it out and then going back and buying the full sizes. Oh these are Lord, I almost broke the goddamn desk. Why did that fall out like that? Anyway, these are pretty decent size sample stuff. So, yeah. I'm gonna try them out and then see which ones I wanna get full size of. What works with my skin, what doesn't, because not everything works for everybody, you know? So that's why I got this. And I got the Sephora Puffy Makeup Puff. It's five dollars and then thirty percent off. I got my little butter drops, which I told you guys I was gonna get with original warm cinnamon and then vanilla dream shimmering. I told you guys I was gonna get that. I actually got that. <laughs> I told you guys this was in my cart as well. The Rouge Gel Lip Liner. I have one. That's not done, but I can't find it. I literally can't find any of my lip liners. Last night when I went out, I had to use an old ass MAC Knife Mod lip liner because I can't find my Patrick Star lip liner. I can't find my gel, my two gel rouge lip liners. Like, what is going on? I'm pretty sure they're in like a handbag or something that I used last and I just never took it out, but yeah. Then I got a mini of the toner. I think I had this in my cart before I found that and I was supposed to take it out and I didn't. But, I got a mini of the toner. Then I got the mini Way Scalp and Body Scrub. The girls are raving about this. On TikTok, YouTube, all of that. So this is in St. Bart's. It kind of smells like hair grease. I don't know if I like how that smells, but that's this. And then the last two things I have here are the Sephora Outrageous Effect Volume. The Plump Glosses. So I got the color XXL Nude and Pump It Up Red. TikTok girlies were raving about them, so I got them to try. That is all that I got from Sephora. This round, I may be back, I may not. Well, I'm gonna go back to redeem the travel size of the fragrance and probably buy some of them. Don't, don't, don't tell my husband or my mom. Don't tell them. But yeah. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that segment of the vlog and the vlog overall. I'm going to go now and finish editing this same vlog so that you guys can get it on time tomorrow. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Join us here again, again, because you know what I know. So everybody should know that we live over here. Therefore, go ahead and share this video with all your family and friends and all your social socials, including but not limited to Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, TikTok, or whatever you have. Go ahead and tell a friend, 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 remember to join us. They can do so by doing all the things I mentioned previously. Also, if you want to follow me, your girl Brie, on any of the socials out there, go in the description box down below for all the details. Your girl is tired, but she got to push through for y'all. 
I'll see you guys in the next vlog. I said something else, but I can't remember. Something about wife, mother, new mother, all that stuff. Y'all know how the ultra goes, so I'll catch you guys later, okay? Bye. Okay, by the